Eliza is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping him up into a frenzy. We got enough folks coming after us without adding an army to the list. How are you? This mess getting to you? Thank you for this. You going to let these bastards walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this could be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take the pleasure of persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. involved in this, Dutch. You know me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you. Noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise. And faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think, just think, for a second. The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion, now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the Army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkertons' assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with him? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell. And we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. There's Peta. These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Come on, let's go. We need to get that boat ashore. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, board her. Then when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. <laughs> we'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. Try not to splash too much, Arthur. Easy. They're going to hear us. Good luck. Pull up alongside. Quietly. 
try not to kill anyone, Arthur. I need to smoke. Get back with power! Confused. We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you go after the others? Okay. These will follow me. There are more upriver. Up. 
I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you go after the others? Okay. Vance! I thought you were getting the other horses, Arthur. Seems like Uncle Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur... Oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we going to wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Combe. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. My father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? I just can't get any more involved in this business, Charles. It's it's not my fight. You head on back to camp, check on the others, Dutch's behavior. I understand. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Goddamn problem. Buy or head on out. Have a look around, see what you might need. Oh, look at you. Been on a bit of a spree, have you? What are you talking about? Ah, nothing. Just thought you looked a bit peakier than when I last saw you. Don't mind me.
keen on some kind of curio, huh? Fine, I'll keep the shop open a wee bit longer if you're making a purchase. Okay, what have you got? These prices are quite the steal. Just light and toss. Don't go looking for reasons to use it now. <laughs> Bottoms up and they will be. Cost, I can tell you. You won't find these prices at a general store, nor some of these goods neither. Thanks. We'll be open again tomorrow if you need anything.
Hold up. This place is off limits. Weep, damn fool! Come on, keep moving! Hey there, partner. Morning, fella. Let's go, girl. You got any business at the mine? I'm looking for an Arthur Londonderry. I was told he works here. Londonderry? Oh, you'll want to speak to the foreman. He's down in the pit. London there. Cheer? I'm sorry, feller, but you're too late. Arthur's dead. <laughs> the man's dead. What's wrong with you? Oh boy, you can't exactly beat it out of him now, can you? <laughs> you might get something off his widow just across from Butcher's Creek, but I'd hurry. 
You ain't gonna be the only one a knocking. <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Hey, I ain't the godforsaken money lender. Time we figure this thing out.